Hey guys, Buff Elgato here. So I want to show you how to fix the EA servers can't connect and also fail to join rooms. There's a few things you have to do. This is September 19th, 2020. Yesterday, an update just came out for Battlefield 3. Here it is nine years later. Uh, they were working on a little bit of guns, but when I went in, I could not play. I had unlocked everything on my 360. Here I am years later, all my information is on my Xbox One X. Went in, could not get into a game, could not join my friends. I have the actual hard copy. I've had friends with digital copies that had the same issue. I'm gonna show you every little thing that worked for me. I'm sorry if I might repeat myself. I'm sorry if it's a little bit long, but just stick with if you're having issues and I will try to help you. Okay guys, let me show you what I did real fast. So this game came out nine years ago. Today is September 19th, 2020. An update just hit. DICE has come in, I guess since they backed off of Battlefield 5. DICE has come in and they threw an update on here to kind of adjust weapons, which is kind of weird. It's nine years later. But me and my friend, we've been playing this quite a bit over the years. He just played it like two weeks ago. I just played this game about a month or two ago. Update hit yesterday. Downloaded. It was like 1.3 gig. Came in. And the servers have always been sketchy on Battlefield 3. I am on Xbox One X. I played this constantly on Xbox 360. Got bought everything, unlocked everything, did not want to lose it. Me and my friend, we have great memories. Uh, this is how we kind of like uh, first met, hung out. And anyway, he was wanting me to play with him. He got in, I couldn't. Now he has a digital copy. I, have, I still have the original hard disk, but this will work if you have digital as well because another one of my friends has the digital copy and he was having the same issues as me. So whenever I loaded up Battlefield 3, the first thing that would come up is my game would just keep spinning and it would come up and say EA servers are offline. You cannot connect to EA servers. Okay, how I fix that. So while I was on this page, if you press right to show battle feed and go over, it'll it'll say this. You have to have some it'll sometimes it'll say this, sometimes it won't. I'll show you how to do it. You need to be signed in Xbox Live. So if you don't remember, the old way to to connect to the Xbox 360, what you want to do on your Xbox One or PlayStation, whatever you're on, you hit the I always call it the start and select, but is starting back if you press them at the same time the 360 um, options come up so we're going to connect to Xbox Live right so we're going to connect to this once it connects back out right now we're going to go over to the right now at the bottom, it says, for more stats, visit battlelog.battlefield.com. Now, even if that doesn't come up for you, but the EA servers are down or you cannot connect to EA servers, things like that, if that still comes up, what you want to do is while you're on this page, on your PC, on your phone, whatever, go to that website, battlelog.battlefield.com. When I went there, this, this is how I fixed my issue. Hopefully it works for you. When I went there, it wanted me to the sign in on the site. I had thought I had kept it where I'm always on. It had kicked me out. So I entered my email and password, said my password was wrong. I told them to reset my password. They emailed me. I reset it. Once I logged into that website, at the top of the screen, it'll have a list of all the Battlefield titles. Click on Battlefield 3. Once you click on it, that's all you have to do is just click on at the top, Battlefield 3. You can come back to this page. When you come back to this page, if, if you back out of Battlefield, you can go back over. At the bottom, instead of saying that battlelog.battlefield.com, it should say press A to accept terms and conditions. Um, click A or whatever button it tells you to click. 
click that button. Once you click that button, the EA should disappear. So then go over to multiplayer just to test it out. And once you go to multiplayer, you can either do a quick match to see if you can get in, which is probably the easier way, but you might get put into an empty server or go into server browser. Um, make sure that you do the show filter at the bottom, click your right thumbstick. If, if all the servers say zero out of 24 or whatever, make sure you hit that right now. If you still cannot join, if you still cannot join, here's the problem that I found. So now we've done the battle log issue. So now what you want to do is you can just hit the big button. Now under the 360, just in case you're curious, if you go to 360 and you go to which is start and select or start and back at the same time, if you go down to manage storage, yes, it's going to kick me out. I want to show you everything that I have. So if I go to save games, Battlefield 1943, only have two megabytes there. I moved everything over to my Xbox. So no, you don't have to have anything in here, right? If you're if you're if you're wondering, you don't you don't have to have anything in here. That's the cloud. It's two megabytes, right? Where all my information is is in my Xbox One. So if you go over to the Xbox One and go down, go all the way over to your profile or your PlayStation, go down this, let me, let me cancel this game out so you can hear me. All right. So if you go all the way over, go down to settings, click settings. You're going to, you're going to scroll down the system and go over to storage. When you go to storage, what you want to do is wherever your battlefield 3 stuff is saved at mine was all in external went into external you hit view contents you can go over to battlefield 3 you hit start this comes up you want to go down to manage games and add-ons this is this is after you went to battle log you signed in you accept terms and conditions it's still not working this is what you want to do so i went here this update right here, the reason why it's an internal, I can move it to external, won't make a difference. But the reason why it's up here is I deleted it and reinstalled it. So if you have everything, if you bought every map, your premium member, all that stuff back in the day on Xbox 360 or whatever, or if you bought this from the store, because if you go to the store, I'll show you that too, it's in there. You should have 13 things installed, at least. You should have at least 13 things installed. If you have a number next to ready install, make sure you install all those because there was an update. So if there's something here, update, do that as well. But you should have at least 13 if you've bought uh, everything. Now, if you bought all the skins and the fast packs and, you know, the assault things like that where you automatically buy everything that's an assault instead of unlocking it you'll have more but you should have at least 13. so what you want to do is you want to go through all this right you want to go through all this see if any of it's corrupted just by looking at it uh, none of it is but when you find this one the multiplayer update 6 you want to delete it it's the 2.0 gigabyte delete it once you delete it go back in and re-download it right now, where you download it at is in the store. So if you back all, if you back all the way out, um, you just want to go down to uh, where's the store at? There it is over here. You can go to store. You can do search, and you can do you can do Battlefield um, Three. Right, everything comes up. Right, you just need to go through. Not the ones that cost money, but these, like this is Aftermath, and this is Aftermath that's free, right? This is Armored Assault, this is Armored Assault that's free. You want to go in, make, and you want to go in, and you want to find the multiplayer six, re-download it, right? If you can't find it in your storage after you delete it, uh, go in here, find it, re-download it. So once you do that, 
we're going to go we're going to go back in so what you did first is that the EA servers weren't connecting or you couldn't get into a server so what you want to do first go to battle log sign in click battlefield 3 come back go to your battlefield your battle feed hit the button to accept terms and conditions if you still cannot get into a game if it still will not go ahead and hit um you let that end that's so loud go ahead and click quick match after you've done the battle log stuff and you accept terms and conditions if you still cannot get into a game then you want to go and delete that multiplayer 2.0 gig number six update and then re-download it it was bugged it had a bug in it so if you ever had a problem that's that's where you need to that's where you need to go to after the battle log the ea server thing that tells you that that they're down that comes from battle log you need to go to battle log to fix that so once you fix that you won't get the ea message message anymore but if you still can't get into a multiplayer game that's when you want to delete the multiplayer number six update reinstall it come back in try it again if for some reason you go through um like i like to go on the server browser making sure there's room in the game so i might go down here and click one of these right click one of these if you can't get into it some of these servers some of these servers are locked some of them are bugged if you keep trying this one and it doesn't work go down to the next one if it doesn't work go to the next one now if you've tried four or five you can't connect you got a friend on that's playing for some reason you can't um connect to him go into your options on your xbox and erase the um the cache go and erase your cat not not your cache that will um erase your saved data for your 360 or your Xbox one but you can go through there and you can manage your cache but that's very last resort that's a very last resort but do the battle log first accept terms and conditions and then go into um, your multiplayer number six erase that redownload it that's what worked for me that's what worked for me but guys if this worked at all Please hit like, please share it. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you, even if it just helped one of you out there. Um, I hope it did. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, sexy man pose. That, that Jeep guy's still rolling around. Yeah, no, I'm trying to get. Ooh, I hit him. See, that would have killed him. Right, Ooh, I would have sniped him out in hardcore. Let me know when you get in the jet next to me. I'm waiting on it. It ain't there. Let somebody else got it. You in it? Let's go, let's go. Oh shit! Where are you going? <laughs> hey, I was coming! I was coming! Oh, shit. Now we lost it. Wow. Alright, I killed their top two guys here. I can't. Yeah, oh yeah, I can already tell this guy can fly. Now he might make a mistake, but so far he can fly. Oh, they got him off. Yeah, 
bad boy. Yeah, oh, boy. Shit. I got me a flyer. I got me a flyer. Yeah, he's all right, man. Kill him. It's around, baby. I got you. The guy's name was Swamp Jock Itch. I know exactly what that's like, unfortunately. All right, here we go. This dude can fly, man. See ya. Which way are you turning? Not the same. This guy's fucking good. Reminds me of an old boy I used to play with, man. Where is he? Where is he? I think I see him. I think he's on the side of this building. Man! Man, he was annoying. That guy can fly. That guy can fly.